the out, outpouring support has been uh, unbelievable. Um, you know, it's been surreal. It just shows that these animals touched so many people. And uh, again, it's just, it shows how disgraceful this entire um, situation has been. Um, not only is it a bad look for the state, it's a bad look for humanity. Like, what are we doing with our resources and our tax dollars? What are we doing? So um, to your point, yes, we're going to be, um, you know, moving forward with some legal action. Um, we can't talk much about it right now as we are in the beginning stages of it, um, but we will be moving forward. This is not going to be the last of this. Pina did not die in vain. Um, the fact of the matter is, you know, we were heavily mistreated our there were so many violated constitutional rights in this situation that it's not even funny. And the simple fact of the matter is, is we did all of this for a squirrel and a raccoon. Um, it just shows kind of the state of where New York is, um, where we have so many things to worry about, but somehow we had enough manpower and resources to devote it to a squirrel and a raccoon. So not only are we going to be filing some legal battles, but we also want answers. The support that we have been getting over the past couple of days has been something that I'll never forget. And, and I haven't stopped crying since, you know, the day happened. Um, and a large portion is for peanut, but it's also cheers of happiness and joy. It just proves that, you know, social media can be good at times. You know, you can bring a lot of joy and a lot of happiness to people who you've never met before, all because of a little squirrel and how he brought so much happiness to this world. And for it to just be taken away, for what? What, what was the goal? What was the result here? We weren't, we, we didn't have a bear we we moved to a small town in New York. We're not even from here. I'm from Connecticut. My wife's from Germany. We moved to New York State thinking this was going to be nothing but uh, sunshine and rainbows. We moved to a small town that has 1,800 people. We wanted to die here. And now I'm questioning why I even moved here. You know, I, seven years of my life, I had a squirrel. Not a single official from any state that we were in ever, ever reached out to say we were violating something. Yes, the laws are the laws and paperwork is paperwork. But again, we didn't house a dragon. We had a squirrel and a raccoon who apparently bit somebody. I've had people travel the country and even the world to meet Peanut, and he has never bitten anybody. And also as a state official and a police officer, wouldn't your guidelines be to wear PPE and protective gloves when you're picking up animals that you've never met before? You're going to explain to me that this animal bit you, and because it bit you, we needed to terminate its life immediately? When we see cases like this where the animal was housed it was sanctioned. It was rehabbed. It was quarantined. We didn't get due process whatsoever. They took our animals, they ransacked our house, and they went and they killed them. And they didn't give us a statement whatsoever. The DEC in the state of New York still hasn't contacted us about any of the information that's happened. We found out that Peanut died through another news station. That's how much this New York state believes in their people.